Right, you're listening to Northern Freetown. As I said, we've got a guest in today, Lloyd, B-Boy Tranquil. How are you doing, man? All right. So, yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself, Lloyd. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Bradford. You know, I was uh, born and raised here, and, you know, I'm, uh, I've am got Yorkshire, you know, in my blood and that. So, you know, I've, uh, um, I've been breaking for about 16 years now, and um, I'm just moving on to the next phase, which is the channel I've been doing on, uh, on YouTube and on Facebook as well and you know promoting that and it's, it's just like a new phase of of my life and you know the, the experiences I had built up to this so I'm really happy about that. Brilliant and have you been in a, a lot of competitions at all or? Yeah well I, when when I was younger and uh, even now I still I still travel the world breaking and battling uh, not as much as I, I was um, maybe five years ago because I was I was going to America every single year and uh, you know around Europe and stuff really? like that and battling the top guys and, and I still do that as well but it's, it's not my um it's not what I'm my aim is you know to to be traveling all the time at the minute it's it's more to do with just you know enjoying the dancing and stuff like that and teaching my students as well yeah I mean we've had about five uh, no about seven or eight shows now with three elements doing break dance nights and you've turned up to every single one and all I can say for me and Carl is thanks a lot because it's been brilliant to watch you break dance it really has well well I, I'm just you know anyone who's doing something you know something positive and good and real hip-hop as well because your night's an amazing night you know there's not many many people doing hip-hop kind of nights and, and you know respecting the other elements as well so when someone says you know what we're doing tonight and want some uh, breakers down you know i'm more than happy to come and break you know what I me mean? make the atmosphere even better yeah my thanks goes out to the rest of the crew as well it's clean north they call yeah yeah clean north crew it's like uh, since 2002 so that's a long time you know do you want to tell us a little bit about them who have you got in your crew well at the minute you know the, the crew's gone through loads of changes uh, over the years and uh, you know it's not that it, it's nothing the same as when it was you know I'm, i think i'm probably the only one left of, of the original team but you know it's been a crazy journey you know people moved on because of work you know or or kids or other, yes. loads of other reasons you know moving on to different things but um you know the, the crew now is like formed of uh, my wife's in the crew i've got you know one of a a lot of the crew are a lot younger so i'm i'm quite you know quite old compared to them you know? so your wife break dance i mean i know this but <laughs> yeah yeah foxy i met her because she wanted to learn how to break and stuff and she was obviously a good gymnast and then she uh, she was good at other da styles of dancing and that and she she felt like she needed to dance more and you know breaking like hip-hop that's the great thing you can, you can do that with anyone yeah. whereas these other dances you have to do them in a certain place at a certain time yeah. but breaking you just you just do it you know at where you know wherever and however you feel you know so she got into it and that that's you know then we got together later on so yeah so you're a husband and wife breakdown team yeah. I, I think you're gonna have to bring your wife in next time because yeah, <laughs> i'm sure people are going to want to hear about that as well right so we'll continue the interview in a bit we'll just stick this song on for a minute because it's cool yeah we were just talking about uh you dancing at a festival that i saw so yeah do you want to just let us know a little bit more about that well, yeah, like, you know, when we've been breaking, obviously, you know, we have a lot of rival crews and breaking's quite competitive like that. But as the years have gone on, you know, those those rivalries have settled down a bit. And one of the, the kind of a, a crew, which, you know, we used to battle against a lot, you know, become friends with some of them. And um, me and Foxy have been dancing so hard, battling around England. And uh, they wanted they wanted us to go and perform, you know, with them. As, and they were called the Blood Masters crew. So they invited us to the Secret Garden Party to perform alongside them. So like as just, you know, like add-ons. So, you know, so we were going to battle for them at that event. And it right. was, a, you know, it was, a, it was an amazing time. Was it in a boxing ring in the middle? <laughs> yeah, it was like the, the Secret Garden Party is crazy because it's just, it's just wild. Everyone's, you know, partying and, you know, obviously the, the boxing ring's in the middle of this kind of like a field and, you know, people are on hay bales. Just, you know, everyone's going crazy and stuff like that. And it was just, we just different <laughs> yeah no it looked it looked absolutely fantastic so yeah you're listening to northern freetown i'm just doing a quick interview with uh b-boy lloyd tranquil um and also can you just let us know a few of uh you know you've been break dancing in teams do you do team battles as well or? yeah yeah we have a lot of crew battles and that were like about up to eight of you so we, we sometimes do the battles uh, as a crew in england at the minute there's not been as many going on so it's, it's usually about one or two a year but we still we still represent when we can do you, do you prefer that or just to dance on your own uh, for me I, i've always preferred the crew battles because i mm. i feel like um 
I do not, better on my own sometimes, but you know, I do like to have that yeah, team. And, and they look support. a lot better. Yeah. Visually, it looks brilliant when yeah. you've got a team that way. And everyone gets, you know, excited and it, it's that, that energy. It's just amazing, you yeah. know, so um, I do love the, the, the crew. And that's. two of my favourite uh, breakdancers, Pocket oh. and Lil Lou. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, yeah, what would you say <laughs> your favourite? I think uh, they're both amazing, them yeah, too, they're, you know, they're, but they're both, they're both different as well. Yeah, they're so, world class. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when you talk about athletes and actually yeah. some of the moves they do, it's yeah. it's almost like Olympic standard. If, you, if you've ever, yeah. if you ever want to go and find them, yeah, Pocket and Lil Lou. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Absolutely definitely. amazing guys. So, yeah, we'll just continue the interview in a minute with B-Boy Lloyd Tranquil. Right, you're listening to Northern Freetown. We're back with B-Boy Tranquil, and we've got DJ Music Girl in the house. Hello! <laughs> so, Lloyd, uh, just ask you a quick question. Did you teach yourself, or did somebody teach you? Well, how to break dance? Uh, I actually had a teacher, but, um, you know, his name was Dylan, and he started me off, but uh, he'd already, he kind of quit breaking for uh, maybe 10 years, or plus 10 years, so he was just getting back into it for the sake of showing so he was, um, you know, we didn't learn a lot of the the new school stuff that was around, but he definitely started me off on yeah. the foundations. Definitely. Yeah, so he got you into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, yeah. And we were talking before that, I saw you at Potter Newton Park <laughs> back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Breakdancing on yeah. stage with Tony. Um, do you, did you, how did you get involved in that? Well, that's through another one of like uh, kind of mentor, you know, teacher type, um, is, which is Shane Tenton, and uh, he's from Leeds. And him and T Breaks yeah, obviously yeah. put on the fresh jive nights, um, and you know when I was younger, I learned uh, quite a bit from them. You know yeah, from the, the, the elbow rooms. And yeah, stuff the like elbow that. rooms, yeah, amazing yeah. times. Yeah, fantastic and, uh, place. Yeah, they used to kill it there. So, you know, I've uh, grown up with with Shane and and T Breaks. You know, and uh, I know them quite well, and you know they've uh, supported me. You know, as I've as I've grown up. So that's that's nice. You yeah, know. they're on the Speak to the Streets, is it? Yeah, well, Speak to the Streets is uh, it, it became like Shane's uh, thing, and you know he, he's he's still running that now, and he's he's doing really well, and you know it's uh, raising awareness, you know, and then helping, you know, he's speaking to the streets, so you know he's getting them people and uh, you know the kids and the youth and trying to do something positive with them, you know, stop them from the violent kind of lifestyles and stuff like that. So, yeah, so does he run classes and stuff then? Uh, well, Shane at the minute is not running classes. He 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 has stopped running classes, but he's running the events. So at those yeah. events he speaks about, it, and he's also got you know some some people who perform with him, and you know, uh, part of his team. And I've been part of that team at certain points. You know, yeah. just at certain different events and things like well, that. Well, you so. told us uh, tonight you actually came from uh, doing a class tonight, did you? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, I just finished like a three-hour class, so I've just been you know moving and <laughs> yeah, you know, three hours. <laughs> yeah, I know like non-stop, you know, just going at it. But you know, the, the, as long as the kids like it, you know, that gives me energy. Then, but you know, it's tiring. No, it's, yeah. I think it's a fantastic thing to do to teach Definitely kids how to break dance. Absolutely brilliant. Right, we'll just continue the interview in a minute. Just have a little listen to a bit of music. Do you want to just let us know, Lloyd, uh, what kind of music you're into? What do you like breaking to, for instance? Well, these days, you know, I, I break to a lot of, um, well, it's breaks, really, but they're, they're kind of new school breaks, you know, and um, I, I do like a lot of old school folk. That's, like, uh, one of my favourite, because obviously it just makes you want to dance straight away. The break can sometimes, you know, the percussion, but sometimes that funky stuff makes you just you want to dance. So, And uh, obviously hip-hop as well, you know, um, but... Uh, you know, I listened to hip hop a lot when I was younger. So you know, you, you, the old school stuff especially as well. So you know, there's uh, quite a few good uh, DJs around these days, b boy DJs. You know, so it's like uh, DJ Lean Rock and DJ Flag. They've got a lot of nice beats. You know, and uh, Jabel as well. So there's there's quite a few people making and producing their own beats, which is great. And uh, you know, bringing the the scene forward with the music and stuff. So it's great. Yeah, no, I love my break beat. I've never heard any of them. Do you want to go off and go through them again? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there's uh, there's DJ Flag, uh, there's DJ Lean Rock. And there's DJ Jabel as well, and there's there's quite a few of them, but you know those are ones that I train to when I'm practicing. You know, right, get right. your hype and you know feeling good yeah, when you yeah. when you want to get down. You can know? you find them on SoundCloud? Or? Yeah, they're all on SoundCloud. You know, so uh, you know, and the, you can listen to there on free, so which, which is great. Right. Yeah. And do you want to talk a little bit about your uh, TV station that you started up? It looks fantastic. Yeah, just, thanks for that. Just let us know, uh, obviously, the address and everything like that, and what you're doing on it. Yeah, well, you know, you can find that by going to YouTube and typing Tranquil TV in. And basically, I wanted to do a channel, you know, there, there is other channels online and uh, just a few, but they were done by American, you know, some uh, American guys. And uh, I just felt like they, they were showing how to break, doing the, the moves. Um, but, you know, you didn't really have the connection to hip hop, you know, and, and I'm, I feel that mm -hmm. it's important to 
have if the hip hop isn't there, then it's kind of a bit dead. Yeah, you know, amen, amen. yeah, it's just it's just dancing, you know. And I, I wanted to like do a channel which was, you know, breaking and hip hop because that's obviously there is no separation in my head. Well, it comes but, from yeah. <laughs> the elements, yeah. Maria, the yeah, elements. Yeah, the elements. It, yeah. it comes from the arguments that were settled by dancing, wasn't it? And yeah. I, I just remember I saw a, a little video you doing a dance off with a guy called Swifty, is it? Oh. <laughs> that, that amused me. <laughs> just let, let us know about that because that was one of the funniest things. I've seen. Well, basically, what, what it was is like I'm a true hip hop head, so when you know I'm about respect and all, all those kind of things, and you know there's a lot of unsaid you know the things you don't have to say because you know if you if you're truly hip-hop you you just have them respect kind of rules you know yeah. no one has to spell it out for you but obviously i'm battling and this guy wasn't even interested in looking you know he's <laughs> staring in the sky and I, and you know and i and i was just like I, at the time i just thought you know i would just i was just doing my dance you know and i thought you know what let, let, let that, that one slide. That is a disrespect, isn't yeah. it? If another breakdancer doesn't look. Yeah, but then I thought, but then what happened was, the funny thing is, the, the judges put him through, and, right, and they didn't right. put me through. And, and I, you know, and my dancing was, you know, on a, on a, on a, a well, what I thought was a high level at yeah, that time. Yeah. You're always on a high level. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> every time I've yeah. seen you, yeah. So then, I, I, you know, when I went home, I just, I, I lost it. I thought, <laughs> you know what, I'm not letting that one go. So, yeah, you yeah, know, that, yeah. then, that, then I had the, the call out battle and all that sort of stuff. And, had to go prove myself, you know, to, to the scene and to, you know, everybody and just say, you know, this is who I am, this is what I believe in. You know, if, if that you, you're gonna have to fight for what you think is right. If you think that's right, then you're gonna get smoked yeah. up, but that's up to you. <laughs> so, so do you think do you think you made your point then? Oh yeah, definitely. I made but it's a point. good way to settle the dispute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Dance <laughs> well, as a break dancer, it's the way you settle the dispute, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Some people they don't think, you know, people are get, you know, thinking, oh no, this you know you know that that's not the way you do it or whatever but you know and once i did it you know everyone was happy then you know and give me support afterwards but you know it took a it took a bit of battling to get oh, there absolutely stand your grounds man yeah. Yeah. absolutely loved watching it it yeah. did have some moves though <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, guy, the guy's great. got skills just no yeah. respect yeah. we're cool now though yeah. you know that's the thing as well but that's yeah, what i'm seeing is hip-hop you know like we after that you know it was it was done i've seen him quite a few times now and you know we, you, you move on don't you but that's yeah, that's yeah. the great thing about breaking you know you battle you settle your dispute and then you leave it there, you know, which is good. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. All right, you touched on before, it's all about respect. <laughs> yeah, you're back with uh, Northern Freetown. We're just uh, doing a little interview with B-Boy Tranquil. Just let us know uh, some of the songs. You said you brought some hip-hop with you? Yeah, well, um, when I was growing up, you know, I used to, uh, you know, go to the Beehive when I was, you know, a bit too young to be going yeah, to Beehive. Where's that? It's in Bradford. Uh, it's like right. a pub and um, basically they used to do hip-hop nights there and uh, a lot of the guys would you know, get on the mic and just, you know, do some bars and stuff like that. And uh, right. sometimes they have battles. And basically those, the guys I oh, used rap, to... rap battles. Yeah, yeah, rap yeah, battles. Yeah. And sometimes just, you know, just ciphers and, you yeah. know, just going off. And uh, those guys, you know, have developed and they're called Flame Gorilla now. So basically... Oh, yeah, I think the better. Yeah, yeah, well, those are the... the Big up Flame yeah, Gorilla. Flame Gorilla, yeah. So I use those guys for the music of the, of the Tranquil TV because, you know, I'm trying to stick with people that are close to me you know right, and, uh, they're local yeah and, yeah. and they're, they're amazing you know some of their I've, that album's been out for a while and you know i didn't really i don't think i fully appreciated it until like recently because when i was just listening to it, it really yeah. like i'm like this is it's like me, how I do. A lot of things around me disgust me. The state of my estate is ugly. You've got to take the rough with the smooth. Now the ride's getting bumpy. Trust me, I've still got love for God's country. It's not an accident. I live where I'm happy. That's surrounded by Leeds, Huddersfield to Halifax, Wakefield to Pontefract, Bradford and Bingley. What is it that's in Flame Grill again? There's, there's EXP. What's the, what's the other dude called? J&D. J&D, that's it. And Adverse. I reckon sick, sick producers, I have to say. Yeah. They, they, well, they definitely know their hip hop sound. If they're, if they're from around they here, they'll be sound. getting played on this show. No, no. Yeah. Oh, hell yes. I think everyone, you know, and especially from Yorkshire, you know, that's that's going to make sense because it's, you know, it's a pure hip hop, but with this, like, you know, from where we're from. Yeah. So, Northern Twang. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. And, yeah. you know, I think it's just great, you know, when you really listen to it, you're like, you can relate more. So, yeah. it's good. Uh, I was just going to ask you a quick question. Uh, if somebody wanted to learn to break dance, like Marky Mark over there, <laughs> and he wanted something really simple to start with, uh, just something like a top rock or something like that, I mean, do you want to explain a little bit about that and how they'd go along that? Well, you know, I think, like, the best thing, you know, with dancing, it's quite a, it's, it's, it's a scary thing because, you know, 
you feel like you're being judged and, when, and dancing is one of mm. those things where it's quite you know I, even me when I was younger I hated dancing yeah, it's, it's hard, still like, hard to dance in front it, of somebody oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'd say probably the best thing is just to put on your favourite tracks you know and it, do, it doesn't necessarily have to be you know a hip hop or just something that makes you want to dance yeah. and you know just you know you need to do that you know just in private somewhere just to get used to dancing that way first and then you're obviously then you move from there when you get a bit more confident you can go to a class after that or you know look online for some extra stuff you know but i think it's just not being afraid to express yourself properly because that's the you know when you're not dancing freely that's when it looks actually let, worse you've got to let go then. yeah you, you've got to let go and that's a, that's the that's a strange thing as well yeah <laughs> yeah definitely dance like nobody's watching yeah, yeah. exactly right we're just going to go back into a little bit of northern freetown yeah. dry stone radio 103.5 fm Music Hour, Black Belt Jones, Marky Mark, B-Boy Tranquil.